morning. <clears throat> Today we are going to practice singing the final contest song in You Better Sing. At the top corner is the time where they sing it. So after you've warmed up your voice, click on the video and fast forward the time to two minutes and 52 seconds. I believe that's what it is. And you should see this picture here. And after you practice this with me, you should be able to do it pretty easily. But first, let's warm up our voices. Giyaki, let's start here. Giyaki, yaki, 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 ya. Giyaki, yaki, 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 ya. Here's another one. This one is going to be he. All right. So everyone should be happy because <laughs> you're saying he. Try to say he and then smile with your eyes. I'm creeping myself out. All right. Just sing along. You don't have to look. This is all about warming up your voices, just like yoga for your vocal cords. So we're going to go. should be a little bit warmed up. Let's try doing this. Um, we're just going to go from do to so and we're going to practice the syllables. So it's going to be like this. Let's go ahead and hold our hand up. So it's going to be do, 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 do. I'm going to do the do like this and then the so. So do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. So just remember mi is um, parallel to the ground, okay? And then re, your elbow drops, okay? Does that make sense? And then uh, another thing, that, we, don't, we won't use T for a while, but I just want you to recognize that T, T is in Re, are similar. So this is, this is Re, and this is T. See how the angle is? So go back to the beginning. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La. Now La is like you're gonna pick up something with your hands like you're a crane. I'm a crane, I'm gonna pick up something. So just remember la is like that. And then fa would be like, you just take your hand like this and then you just turn it down, okay? So do, re, mi, fa, so, la. Now, if you look at the song, Okay, we've got do, so, so, la, so, fa, fa, mi, mi, re, mi, re, so, mi, so, la, so, fa, fa, mi, re, do, so, do. Now 
look, this so is different, okay? Now, what I want you guys to do is no one really took their time with me, but part of being smart is to be aware of what's coming next and to look closely at things. So if you look closely at things for the first time and pay really good attention, next time you see it, it'll be easier to recognize. So this is a G or a so, and this is a G and a so. It's just an octave lower, and an octave means it's vibrating half the speed of this one, okay? So you make the same hand signals. So the hand signal would be this, okay? So I think it's easiest, let me see, yeah. I'll get better at placing this so you can see it, but you guys are getting good with your hand signals. So, um, so when you get down here, it's so it'd be so do so. so I mean, so it's do so do. So you'd be looking at your. You see the back of your hand, but you see the front of whoever you're facing. So it's like a. So is like a karate chop. Do is like a punch. This would be a, a, pl a inclined plane for Ray. All right. Me is parallel to the ground. And then Fa would be like a thumbs down. I'm not sure it really matters with the rest of your hands. You could think thumbs down. But to save time, I just keep my hand kind of loose. So from fa to so, okay? So so is like a karate chop. And la, you're a crane, you're picking it up. T is maybe you're pointing to the sun, okay? And then do is up there again. All right, so that's the, the song. Let's sing it again. So it's gonna be do, so, so, la, so, fa, fa, mi, mi, re, mi, re, so, mi, so, la, so, fa, fa, mi, re, do, so, do. <clears throat> Over here in the corner, I wrote out these notes that are below the staff, just so you know it. So if it's a if it's one space and one line below the staff, okay, so you remember how we uh, um, did our um, counting the, the spaces from the bottom? It doesn't matter if you start with your thumb or your pinky, whatever works for you as long as you practice it. So if we've got um, elephants go bouncing down freeways, that's all of these lines. We got five fingers, we got five lines. One, two, three, four, five. And in between those lines, we have the spaces, okay? And then the spaces between spells the word, space rhymes with face, F-A-C-E. So part of your assignment is, I'm gonna erase all of these, okay? And I'm going to put numbers by it, and you're going to have to write all of these in. You're going to have to write all the letter names, not the, not the so part, okay? Does that make sense? So let's try, let's try sing it, sing it, and sight singing again. So we're going to go, do, so, la, is that right? Let me see. Do, do, so. Do, so, la, so, fa, fa, mi, mi, re, mi, re, so, mi, so, la, so, fa, fa, mi, re, do, so, do. All right, so practice that with the video. I know you like the video. I've heard several kids make comments saying that they like the rappers. I'm guessing that that was mostly the guys. And I'm also guessing that a lot of girls um, 
identified with uh, the the re and the fa. The la, she was just too happy. Didn't you think? La 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 la. I, I, it, it didn't. Uh, D or do in the video. Most people kind of thought that she was a little bit uh, self-absorbed. It was always about her. Same with me. What do you think? Me was always about her, and Do was arrogant, the most arrogant. And and so just kind of went along with everyone else. But in the video, they made a big point out of the fact that that So had a high note and a low note. So maybe if you watch it again, you'll you'll pick up more of that. And I'd like to remind everyone that you're training your eyes to move along with the music as well as your voice. So, you know, if, if you're not getting too good at singing, don't give up. You're still just training your eyes to move. So there's a lot going on. And I hope you guys have a happy Wednesday. Good morning. I've got two songs for you. Both of them are written by either Africans or African Americans. And the first one is from Nigeria. And uh, that's kind of like on the, you know, I don't know if you're good at visualizing Africa, but the most west part of Africa sticks out and then it comes down kind of like an armpit, okay? And then it goes all the way down. So the underneath the bottom of this part, you have a couple countries like uh, Tongo, uh, and then uh, Nigeria. Nigeria is, is right there um, on, on that part. So this, was, this is a song about how we sometimes have words in our mind and they kind of like have, they're like on automatic pilot and they, they tell us stuff. You know, it's like a habit, a ritual. I don't know why this keeps blinking on and off. I'm gonna see what happens when I turn the light on. See if it'll stop doing the, the color. All right. So, um, so um, there's a word for it in psychology. It's called perseverate, and that's when your your mind is like a little squirrel cage. Like, have you ever seen a hamster? It goes around and around. Every time it goes around, it tells you the same thing. You know, that's that's kind of how self self doubt is. You know, um, a lot of times when we doubt ourselves, it's not logical. It's just a bad habit. You know, a part of the bad habit could be the fear of failure, because if you try and you don't succeed the first time, you might think that you have to succeed the first time, which is a lie. Um, you need to think about successive is being going on a journey and the first time you go on the journey, you're going through a giant woods and you can't see in front of you or behind you, but you, you might only remember one thing the very first thing, time you go on that journey, but you get to the end, all right? And someone asks you a question about your journey and you can't remember anything but one thing. But before you went on that journey, you didn't even know that one thing. So what I'm saying is, Whatever we're doing in life, the things that our brain is telling us does not have to be reality. It's sometimes just a bad habit. And it's a, it's a word that we hold on to. So this song was written about um, forgiveness and making friends. And um, sometimes you don't have enough information. So sometimes you might feel like you're a failure, and the only reason you don't you feel like a failure is because you don't have a good mirror. Because a lot of times when we're home alone, we don't have friends to tell us that we're.
pretty or we don't, we're doing a good job. A lot of times, you know, like everyone's a little bit stressed out. We spend too much time with our family. You know, it's, it's families are good, don't get me wrong, but it's so nice to go away and have a new experience that your whole family isn't aware of. So sometimes we don't have good mirrors. We don't have a, a way for our friends to reflect on who we are, whether that be just you telling a funny joke and them laughing at it. You know, you might be at home and your parents don't think you're funny because you're there all the time. Or maybe it's the same joke. Maybe your jokes are great, but your families have heard it all the time. And then when you go out and tell them again, they don't get it. But then what we need to do is we need to forgive ourselves and just remember that these are just thoughts and thoughts are not reality, okay? So this, this song is called Words That We Hold Tight and it's from Nigeria, all right? And I'm, I'm, what I'm hoping to do, I hurt my back. So I, I was literally um, a hand, handicap, special needs for a couple days. I walked with a cane and I tied a rope around my wrist and I tied it under the cane in case I fell over because it's just me you know if I if I fell over and I couldn't get up I, a cane can really help you with your back it's better um, me and Taz have walked every single day that's the only thing I did the, the first day and a half after I fell is I kept walking them because um, when you hurt your back you need to stay upright. You might not feel like moving around. Now that's that's very counterintuitive because your back hurts, so it's telling you to do nothing, which isn't reality. Um, your muscles need to be exercised. So that's another thing. That's another thing about how the words in our head aren't necessarily reality. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna sing this song for the first time. And I'm hoping that maybe I can um, make a backing track for it. But this is just the basic parts. Words that we hold tight won't let us go. Past we won't follow.
working on that, but I want us to sing that one. Here's one we sang last year. So you have assignments. Um, the upper L needs to write the letter names of the notes to You Better Sing. And the lower L needs to write whether it's a line or a space. You should practice doing this. Elephants go bouncing down freeways or you can start here. Elephants go bouncing down freeways. I do my pinky because I'm left-handed and I can hold it up to the staff. Some people are, are the other one. If you hold it up to the staff, it's really easy to see which line the note is on. And this takes practice. So the first time you try it, you might get a little bit confused. But if you know you're confused, you know that you're learning. If you don't try, you don't know what you don't know and what you do know. So I want you guys to try. Go on adventure. Find something new that you don't know. I hope you guys like the video.